We know that criminals often make foolish decisions, but today we will highlight four who have outdone themselves. We have a thief who thought he could erase his wanted level by hiding under a car. Other what hand. Let me see your other hand right now. I got a receipt. Over here by liquor. A woman who threatened to arrest her husband, but ended up behind bars herself. And a Karen who unnecessarily entered a courthouse to argue with police. But first, we have a case that surpasses all the previous ones. Meet Antoine, who is a wanted and dangerous person, yet he still decided to call the police to complain about receiving cold fries at McDonald's. You literally won't believe what the officer will find out after checking on him. Uh, we're the one to call. Okay, what's up? Uh, basically, we went in there, purchased the food. Um, so why did y'all call? So like, what happened? Because we ordered the food. Um, he couldn't print us a receipt. Okay. Um, so he said the receipt would be printed in the back. But we don't even know our order number. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now our food is sitting there cold. So when I come up, I say, you know, I try to fry the fries. Or they're lukewarm, but they're not hot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just ask him, can we get some fresh fresh fries? Okay. He said, okay, if the fries are not hot, touch the fries. He said, no, they're not hot. Okay. So is he getting the fries? And I said, can I also get the receipt? That was five minutes ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, Excuse me, sir. Five minutes ago, I can I can run my store however I want to run my store. Okay. He said, matter of fact, you can leave my property. Get off my property now. Or you can come and get, uh, I do a refund. I say, sir, with, with um, cash up card, it's three to seven business days to do a refund. Just give me my set of fries and my receipt. That's mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do anyway when I pay for my order. Okay. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? No, sir. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to get your information. Okay. Uh, what's your last name? Uh, Sam. S I M S. S I M E S. E S. And first name? A N T O I N E. O I A N E. A N T O I A N E. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let you know he called as well. So y'all both called. Yeah, we both right, called yeah. right So downstairs. I'm going to go in and talk to him. Um, hey, Carl, will you hang out with him? All right, he's going to hang out with you for a second, okay? I'm going to go ahead and talk to him real quick. Okay, so break it down for me. What happened? He insists that he's and all his food's cold. Okay. You better give me fresh fries, mother. Mm -hmm. so like, what? Starts losing it. Starts shoving his food at me. Mm -hmm. And I said, sorry. He said, I said, well, th th tell you what, you can take your business elsewhere. Give me a card. I'll give me a refund. No, I'm, you're not going to give me an effort refund. You're going to give me my food and my money back. Mm -hmm. So okay, I said, look, sir. Start shoving his food. I took his food. So he's got nothing to shout at me now. Because next thing you know, he's throwing mm -hmm. his drink at me. Mm -hmm. So I took his food. Took it. Well, just spray it. In the trash. Here's your, your. Give me your card. Have your refund. Take your business elsewhere. Did you give him his refund? Like, is that all part? You refused to. Okay. You're not going to give me your refund. Okay. All right. So here's the deal. As a business owner, he has the right to not remake your food. He is willing to do a refund. He has no problems doing a refund, but he's not going to remake your food. As a business owner, he can do that. Okay. Um, he does not want you coming back in the store. He actually wants us to criminally trespass you, so you will not be allowed back at this no, McDonald's. I, I don't even stay here. I keep it doesn't matter. He's requested it. we got to do it. It's not a big deal. It's so a piece of charge me? No, we're not charging you. It's a piece of paper we're going to give you that's going to say, hey, you can't come back to this McDonald's. That's all it is. We have two different stories here, and in both, the other person comes out as the bad guy. If Antoine really threw a drink at the manager, and security cameras or witnesses can confirm this, that might be classified as assault. However, the manager isn't too concerned about that part, but instead just wants to issue a criminal trespass order. A criminal trespass order is a formal request or order for an individual not to enter or remain on certain premises. It's used by property owners or occupants to ban individuals who have engaged in illegal or unwanted behavior on their property. It serves as a warning that if the individual returns, they can be arrested and charged with trespassing. Wow. Like, yeah. no, just, like, just realistically, did I do anything? I don't know. I, I'm not here to even figure that out. I'm here to, I'm here to keep yeah, the peace. Like As a business owner, he has the right to refuse service to anyone he chooses to refuse service to. Just like if you owned a business, you have the same right to do the same thing. Exactly. If you owned a physical business, like you, you didn't have, have a, whatever you can CT, you. you can CT whoever the hell you want. You can do whatever. Yeah. As long as it's within the law, and that's within the law, okay? All right, so hang out with him. I'm going to get that form. It's a simple form that says, hey, just don't come back to this McDonald's. 
And now comes the interesting part. While the officer was searching for the mentioned criminal trespass form, upon checking it was discovered that Antoine is a wanted person. He is a murder suspect. License status. Suspended. 24 year old male. Wanted person. Caution. Violence. Armed and dangerous. 11, 16, 11, 16. Suspended. 24 year old male. What's your ETA? 10, 4, 6, 2, Kennesaw. It looks like we just found the same ID. Now the objective is to detain Antoine until backup arrives and then proceed with the arrest. At least that would be the ideal scenario. All right, spell your um, last name for me. S-I-M-E-S. -E okay. Um, where's your driver's license out of? Uh, I don't have it. Okay. I think my mother's still Okay. S-I-M-E-S, spell your first name again. A-N-T-O-I-N-E. O-I-N-A? O-I-N-E. O-I-N-E. So I'm basically just banned from here. Correct. Yeah, just you know, whatever. Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, Mr. Sims, come over here. I'm gonna have you sign this. I'm not under arrest or anything, man. No, sir. Huh? Just come over here. I'm gonna have you sign this real quick. I said I'm not under arrest. Or anything, no, man. no, you're not. Yeah, just come over here. I'm gonna have you sign this real quick. You have to sign it saying that you're not gonna come back. To the property. So you'll fill this part out. Can I see it, sir? Yeah. Can you come over here, man? No, I'm, I'm afraid of y'all, sir. Why are you afraid? Three years, sir. I'm afraid. Of All right, you, sir. I'm I'm gonna walk you I'm, through. I'm, Why are you I'm doing afraid. that? I know how to fill it Why out. Why are you sir. doing that? I know how to fill. Am I All right? right? Yeah. Come on. No, let's get it. Car, 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 car. Contact! Contact! Backside! Backside! Ah! Taser deployed! Ah! Taser deployed! Ah! Put your hands out! Put your hands out! Ah! Hands out! Ah! Do not move! Ah! Ah! Do not move! Ah! Give me contact! Ah! Oh God, I got Pictures ah! and send you back! I'll send you back! Hands up! Hands up! It's on his back leg, he's on. Please, please give me, please give me a hand. You're fine. You got an ambulance on the way. Please. You went all over this town. No, I ain't running nowhere. We called an ambulance, all right, they are on the way. I said I need to be lifted, I cannot be seen, I have to breathe correctly, sir. You can breathe, sir. No, I cannot, sir. You know that. Sir, my eyes is rolling, sir. That's how I'm, I'm gonna need an ID. Okay, we got an email. But I don't want to feel like this, so I'm gonna pass out. There's nothing we can do for you right now. Antoine was wearing an ankle monitor because of an outstanding warrant for his arrest for failing to appear in court for a 2018 homicide. He's accused of setting a car on fire with a woman's body in it in October of that year, and this McDonald's drama brought him some new charges. He was charged with criminal trespass, hindering law enforcement, and possession of a controlled substance with the intent to distribute after finding 31 grams of marijuana in his fiancée's car. All this mess because of cold french fries. Police department! Police department, open the door! Police department, open the door! Hello? Hey, this is Officer Clouch, the Marshall Police Department, calling you. Okay. What's going on? Well, we got a call from this number stating... Okay, well, what, uh, what apartment are you guys in? Well, we're trying to... We, we just want to make sure everything's okay, alright? So we just got to check our number on. Okay. Well, how would you know we're knocking on the door? We're not leaving. Come to the door. Open the door. Oh. What's going on? I have to go to work. Mm -hmm. No, I have to go to work. Okay. I'm not willing to be late for work. Okay, what's going on? I have to. Nothing. Okay. 
Nothing. I have to go to work. I don't even know why you guys are here. Get away from me, please. You're making me feel I want the chief of police here. Okay. Whoever the supervisor is, I want here. Okay, he's coming. This is Kayla, and she just got herself into some serious trouble. She got into an argument with her boyfriend and attempted to win the argument by calling the police claiming she was in great danger and then abruptly hanging up the call. The police take domestic violence very seriously, so they immediately reacted and located Kayla through her cell phone. She is shocked to see how many officers have turned up, and in her defense, she only says that she has no idea about the call and that she needs to go to work. Well, Kayla, I don't think that will work. Okay, well, I, I have to go to work. I don't have time for this, sir. I have so, to go to work. So you called it. No, I didn't. I don't know who called you. Okay, I did what's, call what's your, you. What's your call? I'm so, from I'm from New Hampshire. Well, I'm from Massachusetts originally. Okay, so who's in the apartment with you? Me. Okay, who else? Me. Because there's someone else. I have to get ready, sir. Okay. I have to go to work. We gotta. I have to go to work. Gotta, we gotta call. Hello. Hi. Oh. Okay. So that's why, the number that called 911. I actually, have, I actually have two different numbers on that's my phone. That's the number that called 911. Oh, you're right, so it was. They needed some help. Okay. So I that's did, why we're um, here. I have to go to work, y'all. I have to go to work. So I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I'm not talking to you. I'm not speaking to you. I have to go to work. Who else is inside? Okay. I have to go to work. You guys are going to cause me to lose my job. Please let me go to work. There's no one inside. Please let me go home. Her boyfriend heard the commotion and abruptly came out to see what was happening, but he quickly learned that aggressive behavior in front of the police is never a wise choice. Talk about that, right? Okay. That's all we wanted to do when we came here. I'm can we sorry. sit? Can we sit you up? Can you take the taser out of my leg, yeah. please? Yeah. We, we want to sit you up, though, so you're not laying on it, okay? Guys, I didn't do anything wrong. But you but came out tense up at us, man. You can't you be doing can't that. Come out with your fist. I didn't leave my apartment. I did not leave my apartment. You did, but you can't come out trying to fight us. He just lost his job. All right. He just lost his job. I can't afford to lose my job. Please let me. Please, please, guys. Please! Please! I'm gonna lose my job! You have a seat in here. I'm gonna lose my job! Please don't! You called 911. Just listen, alright? Alright? I you called 911 because he was because he was being a douchebag. I was just trying to threaten him with the cops. Okay, that's inappropriate, that first of all, right? I understand that, but okay. I wasn't he wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. Okay, you you got every police officer over here. Because we thought someone was being a murdered, beat up, and no, I'm fine. You guys did all of this. He up. thought that you were hurting me. Of course, he came out here to help me. He thought you guys were hurting me. Okay, you called nine one one. You just tased him. Yeah, he wasn't doing anything. Okay, she can go on the. No, oh, please. Right. I have to put go your to... legs inside. Sir, I have put to put your legs inside. I'm the trying to talk to you like a normal person. Put your legs inside the vehicle. Please talk to no. me. No, put your legs inside the vehicle right now. Can you please talk to me? No, put your legs Can you inside. put the window down? We can roll the window can down. Can I please be in the know? I want to know what's happening. All Guys, right. please. I have I have to work. I have, I'm under arrest? Right. Yep. Yeah. You're Why? under arrest for obstructing an I'm officer, first of all. I'm under arrest. I'm going to jail? No, you're not going to jail. You're under arrest right now. I, I have to work at noon, guys. I can't afford to lose my job. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have called 911 and... I didn't do anything, sir. Yes, you did. So I'm going right. to lose the work at noon. Please! Put your leg in. Put your leg in. Put your leg in. Or you will go to jail. Put your leg in the car. By calling the police and claiming she was in great danger without it being true, Kayla has potentially committed the offense of making a false report to law enforcement authorities. For that, she could be charged with filing a false police report or misuse of emergency services. 
Her refusal to open the door and initial denial of knowing about the call can be seen as non-cooperative or obstructive behavior. Also, her wild behavior can be easily considered disorderly. Many charges are possible. The officers now just need to decide about it. Stop yelling! Talk to me! I need to know what's going on, please, sir! You're being arrested for one, disorderly conduct. Two, resisting an officer. I wasn't resisting, Three, sir. That, I have to go to work at noon. Please. That is resisting an officer. Sir, I have to go to work at noon. And three, for obstructing an officer by filing a false police report, which caused us... Hey, was it? I called the police because he was yelling. Okay. You you told me that you just made that up. Yeah. Sir, that, I can't afford to lose my job. I'm sorry about that. So do I have to go down to the station? You're going to come down to the station right now, yeah. Can, please, can you bring me back now? I'm trying to be back before work, please. No. You just I screamed in my face. I'm sorry. I have a baby I had to take care of. Where's your baby right now? In there. In there? Yes, sir. I have to go to work. She said that her boyfriend was being a douchebag and that she wanted him to get scared. Yep. That's it, basically what he said. Obstructing, disorderly conduct, and <clears throat> resisting, in my opinion. Yeah. So when she started screaming like she's being right now, he came to the door like... We were hurting. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. we were hurting. Get yourself ready to go. Does he need to go to jail over this? He's. Uh, he there's a baby in the room in there. Yep. In the, in the, uh, okay. So, so if he's rational and capable, yeah. let's leave him there, okay. based on the circumstances. Okay. Are you gonna stay calm? Yes, I, will, I promise. Okay. She I need like you. I need you to stay calm and cooperative at this point. All right. I'm going to have Officer Fox unhandcuff you so you can tend to your baby. Okay, okay. What is your name? Sir, what? I'm, I'm not yet. Please, I have to go to work. Okay, what is your name? I have to go to work. I'm asking you what your name is. Why? So I can address you. Shakira. Okay, is that your name? Shakira. You can call me Shakira. Shakira what? Shakira Flabbergasted. Shakira Flabbergasted. Okay. Do you have any mental illnesses that I need to be concerned no, about? No, just bring me to the police station. <laughs> bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself and I feel like I want to kill myself. Bring me to the hospital. Okay. Duly noted. Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself. I'm having thoughts of suicide. Bring me to the hospital. Bring me to the hospital. I'm having thoughts of suicide. I want to kill myself. No. We're not going to take you to the hospital because you're going to go to jail, so. Really? Yep. Wait, what is he doing then? We're still working through that, but. Wait, why am I going to jail? I told you that already. Can I just get bailed out? No. Why am I getting arrested? Because you created a giant disturbance here. I didn't do anything. I didn't know that I was resisting. I was just trying to see if he was okay, sir. Please don't do this. I will swear to God, I will I will stop <laughs> from here on out, guys. Please. I, I, please. No part of your actions have sir, caused I, me to believe I'm you. I'm trying to talk to you like a normal person right now, sir, please. Okay. Okay, we're going to step out of the car. We're going to go in my booking area, and you're going to have a seat. All right? <laughs> Officer, I really nope. don't want to... What's up, guys? Hello. Young lady's refusing to leave the premises. If you have no business here, you need to leave the building. Why? My business is to, to ask these men why every time I come here, or I go to school with my kids, or mm -hmm. I go to practice mm -hmm. with my kids, mm -hmm. we have to wear a mask. You are all here to protect me as much as you're here to protect everyone mm -hmm. in this building. Right. That's what you signed up for. Okay. I should not put a mask on my face. It affects my immune system. Okay. I'm a statistician. I look at the data. Mm -hmm. There is no data out there okay. to prove that I need to have a mask on my face, nor should my children. Do any of you have children? Yep. This is not the form for you to... It is because can we tell I pay taxes to that treasure you're office the car? just like you We do. agree with you. Then what are you doing? Take your mask off and stop doing this. It's ridiculous. Okay. Have a good day. I'm not leaving. Listen, ma'am. We have body cameras recording everything that's going on, okay? I'm advising you now. To, uh, you can wave all you want. Are you Muslim? Look, 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 we think Do you want me to be? It's, don't, okay. I'm not. I'm but, a Christian. Right, I'm not going to cover my face, okay? I'm not doing it. God gave me this okay. face, and I'm going to show it. Uh, I'm not getting leave, out. Leave don't touch me. You leave have no door. right. Yes, I do. No, you do not. You do not have the I'm right ask, to I'm touch me. I'm asking you to leave. I'm, I'm not leave. leaving. I'm telling you to leave I will not leave. Do not touch me.
In early 2022, during the COVID pandemic, a woman named Dawn entered the Calvert County Courthouse without a mask. At that time, an interim administrative order was issued stating that all individuals entering the courthouse shall wear face masks indoors, regardless of vaccination status. The woman had no business to conduct in the court, but merely came to argue with the staff about why everyone was wearing masks, which she claimed were useless. Not the smartest move, but let's hear more about her motives. Jesus, please intercede for me in this situation. We're going to help you out. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Absolutely disgusting. Shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. Do you have children? Do you have children? Why are you worried about my What a myself? shame. Why? Because they're going to end up in Nazi camps to keep acting like this. Would you put them in a camp and burn them up? Is that what you would do? Are like you, the Jews in the ovens? Are you a veteran or something? My family are. Okay, I'm a retired veteran, so that's probably not the way you want to go with that. You understand? Well, I mean, that's what you're doing right now. Definitely not. So do you know what the issue is? Is that we had a very high spike over Christmas break of COVID. I COVID is a cold. Okay. It gives people strep and pneumonia when they're old and so, they don't have an immune so system. Is that, is that, can you get it? Is it can, can you get something sick with that? No. You can't? No. Okay. A so mask is cold, not changing cold, that. Right. But like strep or bronchitis or anything else like that. That's you bacteria. Can, right? Okay, same thing, right? It's bacteria. Right? It does not spread. Bacteria does not spread between people. Okay. Not a Nazi. That. Yeah, I'm not that. Right? Almost. No, definitely not. You're abs absolutely. No, no, no. I'm also not a doctor. But do you know what I will do out of the common courtesy of others? If I'm being asked to do this, I will. Okay. Do I like this? You're doing it for a check. No. Yeah. No. Yep. You're exchanging peace for money. I'm not. Yes, you are. Absolutely not. I'm well, paid right now. I'm a federal person. employee, and you're treating me like this. I'm, I'm treating you with respect. <laughs> Just because you're in handcuffs is not my doing, right? So, so because I, so I said I you're not... acting like a Nazi, I'm not respecting? No, that's that. I'm that's, respecting the public. You're right. You're allowed to have your opinion. You're exactly. I am. I am. I didn't touch you. I didn't hurt anybody. I stood there and spoke my mind because this is wrong. Everyone that's my public. courthouse. I pay taxes for that. Yeah. Yes. I pay lots. I pay taxes, property taxes. I pay impact fees for the schools. My kids can't go to school without a mask. That's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Shame on you all. Shame, shame. Take your mask off. They don't make the rules. They're not rules. They're not laws. They're not laws. We don't make those rules. But they're not laws. Is it a law? This? Is it a law to not wear my mask or to wear a mask? Is that a law? It's trespassing a law, yes. But to have a mask on my face, is that a law? Then you can't kick me out. I can walk in that courthouse wherever I want to. A law is different than a rule you're violating. It's not, I'm not breaking any law. Okay. Well, trespassing is a law. I did not trespass. I stood there to tell you I wanted to go in there would without like a mask on. That's it. I would like cold? you to pull my jacket up because it's cold. Yes, I can do that. Would you like me to zip it? No. Okay. I have nothing more to say to anyone. Okay. That's all. I can't sit with handcuffs on. Yes. Is it a rule or a law? Many mask mandates are issued as administrative orders or emergency regulations. While they may not be laws passed by a legislative body, they have the force of law under the emergency powers granted to public health officials or executives, such as governors or health officers. Non-compliance with these orders can lead to legal consequences just as non-compliance with other types of laws. Once she refused to leave the courtroom after being asked by the authorities, she was in violation of trespass laws, and that is why she is now going to jail. Hi! Any uh, medical history? Yeah, there's a lot of medical history. Yeah, there's a lot of Touched, and I'm not going to wear a mask. It's my right not to. Am I being arrested right now? 
You already are arrested. You already are. I wasn't you're, read you're my rights. Cust- you're in custody. I was not read my rights. Are you going to read me my rights? I'm not asking you questions. Not, you're not. I have not been arrested. Yes, you have. I have not been arrested. Yes, you have. No, I have yes, not. You have. No one has read me my rights. I have not been arrested. You may not touch me. You've already broken that rule. <laughs> okay. I was not trespassing. I yes, didn't want to wear a mask, and I wanted to tell them at the courthouse that I shouldn't have to wear a mask, and neither should my children. And that's all I was there for. There's no reason to arrest me, and I have not been arrested, so I should not be at this jail right now. Well, you're here. It is my right, constitutionally, to yes. not be here. This is against my rights. 100% this is against my rights. You may not touch me. You may not... What? You're breaking the law. Okay, come on inside. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Push me. Push me. But this is illegal to make me wear this mask. Yes, it is. It is absolutely illegal. Yes, it is. 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 Yes, it
stop playing the stuff back there. Maybe What's your first name? I'm not, I'm not, I'm just trying to... Do you have your ID on you? It's her. It's in my wallet. It's in your wallet? You can grab the wallet for me. Okay. I appreciate that. There you go. I appreciate that. Oh, crazy. What's the receipt with this? And we got this, too? No, I didn't. Uh, that's a felony Listen, now. That was right there on the thing. When I dropped my weed... Hey, I watched you run out. Listen, I ran when I dropped the weed. I picked up, I tried to grab my jacket. Alright, I'll read you something, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. So, you want to be upfront and honest with me like a man? Or are you going to try to keep saying that you ran because you dropped your weed? Pick it. Pick your, pick your destiny, man, because this is what it's about. If I talk to you like a man... Yeah. You're still going anyway. It's a felony charge. It's over 750 bucks. You're, am, you're going either way. So this is up to you. That's okay. Hey, that's your right. That's your, that's your right, right? I'm mad at you for that. No. In the shopping cart, there is merchandise that this thief attempted to steal, and it appears there is enough to exceed a $750 limit. You might be wondering about the significance of this limit now. Well, in Florida, theft of merchandise valued over $750 is typically considered grand theft, which is a felony. We still do not know exact value of the stolen goods, but I will just mention that third degree grand theft, which involves property valued between $750 and $20,000, is punishable by up to five years in prison and five years of probation. What? Now give me somebody. Give me somebody? Now let me ask you this. Now that's going to be up to the detectives. You can tell a detective something and work with that. I can't promise you no leniency. I can't do that. So you're not talking, right? I'm just making sure. I told you. The only way I'm is if y'all work with me. I mean, you're going either way. That's more than a thousand dollars. So. Okay, that's fine. Did you hear me screaming, stop police? I didn't hear nothing. I that's didn't hear crazy. Nothing. When I dropped my weed. Do you under do you go under cars normally to check oil that aren't? I yours? dropped my glasses. I told you. So you dropped your glasses while you were glasses. falling to the ground. <laughs> you know I saw you get on the ground and go underneath the car. I don't know what you're and then you had, about. I didn't do nothing. You realize you realize this records, right? I didn't it do saw nothing. you run out. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, I dropped my marijuana. Okay, that's fine. I dropped my marijuana. That's okay. Listen, well, I threw I have a receipt. I paid for my stuff. I didn't do nothing wrong. What'd you buy today? I bought toothpaste. And I bought uh, one of the stuffed animals. So this is your receipt? For crust toothpaste? This is this is the one that was on the, on the ground next to you. Yes, it should have my crust toothpaste on there. And where's my bag? Right there. And that Is this yours? Do you pay for this? I, uh, what are you talking about? I didn't have that. You are trying to set me up with something that I didn't yeah. do. What about this right here? This 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 thing right here. They take I this don't off. know what you were talking about. You're trying to set you want, me you up. You want to watch the video? Yeah. yeah. I know I didn't do nothing. I pushed yeah. something out of my Let's way. Let's see it coming. <laughs> What's going on? You, I told you I got a what? tattoo. You squeeze my arm. This guy well, that, that's what happens when you get transported. Let's try not to get tattoos and go to jail next time. <laughs> I'll give you the man I have. Like I said, you got to tell that to a detective. I can't tell you. Can you tell my friend? Nope. Can I smoke a cigarette? Nope. Please? Nope, not when you're running from us. Since the total worth of merchandise was $2,500, this thief was charged with grand theft and sentenced to probation. Just eight months later, he was again caught stealing from the same Walmart.